This is my baby mouse. About five days ago, I found him. He was all pink, and now he's all gray. And he's getting fur. His eyes still haven't opened, but they do have the slits on them. And you, it's really hard to take care of a mouse. They usually don't survive. But he was like all hyper, like he is now, fighting. So I couldn't like just let him go and die because he's just too tiny. So I'm gonna feed him here. So it's hard to do that because I don't want to do that now. So I'm gonna go transport him to the carpet now. See if I can accomplish doing this one here. He usually drinks out of his little bottle all by himself. I don't even need to help him too much. He's a very good baby. We have to have little bags of birds. Make sure they burp a little bit. It's very hard. I've had to stay up. I'm going to say every, about every two hours he feeds. For, it's only five days and he's still tiny, so he's got a little bit to go. But he can do it. He can survive. If you're patient. And right now his stomach, that thing in his stomach is actually pee pee. And that's how you can tell if you need to go to the bathroom. Because they can't go to the bathroom on their own either. You have to do that for him with a Q-tip. You have to feed him and poop him. It's not, it's not an easy job. And also he goes in my pocket. He stays on my body so he doesn't get cold. I've had to sleep sitting up and everything else to make sure he doesn't get hurt. And... He's very, very delicate, obviously, but he's a very good boy, and, and I feel that he needs to be taken care of because he's so strong. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to survive, right, little baby? He's come a long way. I didn't think that he would survive this long because he was a pink baby when I found him. He was so tiny. But here he is, kicking. Everybody's proud of him. Everybody thinks he's doing a great job.